Get your aprons ready, cutie, cause I'm sharing the high protein meal prep that I'm making this week for easy weight loss. And I'm making comfort food, honey. Mini meatloaves, Italian green beans, and quick mashed potatoes. So this is what you're gonna need, cutie. Two bags of frozen green beans. These are the great value, 750 grams per bag for reference. Six tablespoons of light Italian dressing, and this one is mine and Sassy's favorite. This is the Olive Garden Light Italian. That's for the green beans. For the meatloaf, this is what you're going to need. A 12 count muffin tin. I've already sprayed it with cooking spray. We need two pounds of lean ground turkey two large eggs, three quarters of a cup of water, a package of onion soup mix, and this is just the great value kind from Walmi, a third cup of no sugar added ketchup. This is the one Kyle and I are using. We're also gonna need 12 tablespoons of ketchup, the same one for topping the little bubbas later, and three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and I'm using seasoned panko. This is the one. Then for the quick mashed potatoes, this is what I'm doing. I don't like cooking very much, so everything is very quick. We are using the packaged mashed potatoes. So two packages of this, and I'm using home style. The reason I chose home style it's the least amount of cows per serving, so 80 cows. Then we need six tablespoons of light margarine, and we're using the country crock. This one is two teaspoons for 35 cows, just for reference. If you can't find the same thing, don't worry about it, just get something similar. And then to bump up the protein in this baby. Do you I'm think they're married? They're married, what? Who's married? Do you think Country Croc is married to Betty Croc? <laughs> yes. Hello, wife. Hello, husband. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for answering. Anytime. <laughs> to bump up the protein, I'm using Fairlife milk because it has more protein than regular milk. This is the 0% Fairlife and I'm using one cup. We need six and two thirds cup of water and I put that in a big pan. So we're gonna get started with the mini meatloaves because they take the longest. I have the oven prepped to 350. So let's, we've got the eggs in there. I'm gonna open up the turkey and I'm just gonna basically put everything in the bowl and make it together with my hands. So, whoa, that was loud. <laughs> Do that. Take off these uh, meaty things. What are these? Meat blankets. <laughs> yes, okay. Take off the old meat blankets. So they don't get cold in the uh, fridge section. Yeah, okay, that's what, you're right, Sass. Let's go with the meat blankets. Okay, get ready for loud. The water. Let's get into the soup. Oh, gotta use scissors. Pour that in there. Then we got the bread crumbs. And then let's get the ketchup out. Now you can use a spoon if you want, but I like getting right in there. So I'm gonna use my hands and I'm just gonna mix it all together until it's well combined. And then I'll portion it out into the muffin tins. So let's get dirty, honey. We're gonna mix this all together till it's real cute. And <laughs> the friends, I have lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for nine years. Meal prep is one of the keys to why I was so successful because if I didn't have my meals prepped and I was hungry, I would end up going off track, eating things I didn't want to, and then it would set me off track for like months. So meal prep is really important, but tasty, high protein meal preps are even more important because protein lowers your hunger hormone ghrelin. It's really normal to be hungry when you're in a calorie deficit. So protein helps you feel fuller longer. Quick, easy meal prep is also the key because if it's long or complicated, I don't stick to it. And every time I failed on my journey, it was because I was making things way too long and complicated. So that's why quick, easy meal preps, the bee's knees, baller, you do it. Baller, shot collar. So this is ready to go. I'm just gonna give my hands a wash -a rooney and then I will um, show you how I portion it all out. Whoop, all right. 
You know what uh, Country Croc said to Betty Crocker on their first date? No, tell me. Crocker, I barely know her. <laughs> we are going to portion this all out. I am making six meals with this, so we're gonna do two mini meatloaves per serving. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup per tin and divide it that way, and then I'll add if I have any left over. But that's looking pretty cute like that. And this is another thing why meal prep is so great because I'm gonna show you how I put them in containers after. I lost my weight with portion control and that's key. When you prep your meals and put it in a meal prep container, when you're done your container, you're done your portions. And that was really helpful for me because then I didn't need to eat anymore. I was done my serving for the day. So I was setting myself up for success, removing all the excuses. This one, give that. There we go. Okay, so basically just, you know, even them out to the best of your ability. Like, obviously we're not perfect. I'm not perfect, clearly. So just, you know, as even Steven as you can get. I'm gonna put these in the oven for 30 minutes. I'm gonna check them halfway and I'll let you know total cook time when I'm done. We're gonna get the potatoes started. So I have the water already in the pot. What you do with these is you literally just put the margarine into the water and I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then um, we'll pull it off the heat and stir in the milk and potatoes and that's it, Bob is your uncle. It's green bean time. I have a really large microwave safe dish and I'm literally just going to pour the beans in this and then throw them in the microwave. So we'll fill it. Can you place them gently? Because last time you broke them. <laughs> when you threw them in. I'll try my best. So we'll just fill it much as we can. I want only six cups. This should be good enough. I'm gonna do 10 minutes and then check on them. We're just cooking them until basically they're heated through. So we'll go 10 minutes for now. I will place it gently for some. The margarine and water have been brought to a rapid boil. I pulled it off the heat. Now I'm gonna stir in my potatoes. Look how beautiful that is. My milk. So we're just gonna stir this up until it's well combined. And then I'm gonna let it sit or stand for two minutes with the lid on. And then it'll be ready to measure out into all the meal prep containers. You know what I was just doing? Yes, that's why I turned the camera. Well, I saw that I had these gloves on and I wanted to be a mime. Okay, the beans are done. They did, uh, they did 15 minutes, okay, in the microwave. We're gonna start measuring out some of the stuff. So let's do the beans first. I'm gonna do one cup of beans per container and then I'll top it with the Italian dressing and I'll show you how. Sass and I are eating this for dinner tonight so we have two plates and then four meal prep containers for the rest of the meals. So let's start going. We'll put a cup in every behinga. If you wanna know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link's down below and Code Nicole will save you 10% off. Speaking of protein, if you're looking for a great protein, HTLT Subs has the best tasting protein powder ever. This one is the S'mores. I love this. In my protein full day of eating, I made a s'mores protein pudding um, using this. Go check that video out and make it. You're gonna love it. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below for this as well. So we'll just keep going along here. Okay, so all the green beans are in. Now I'm gonna take my Italian dressing, shake it up, and I'm gonna drizzle a tablespoon over each of the beans to flavor it up. There we go. Mm. 
And what I love like about that Olive Garden one, like I'm not sponsored, but I just really like it because it has a lot of flavor. Like it has Parmesan cheese in it and stuff. So it really will oomph up the beans. Yeah, because they're always like, I like green beans, but it's like always the part of the dinner where you're like, okay, I'll eat them, but nothing special. Well, wait till you have this on it, honey. You're gonna love it. So look at this. Now we're gonna do the potatoes. So they've been sitting there. What you gotta do is um, stir the stir it with a fork before you hump it. So it <laughs> like that, just to fluff it up a bit. And now I'm going to divide it between the six containers. Okay, so this is a half a cup but I still have lots left in the pot. So what I'm gonna do to make sure that I'm getting accurate portions is I'm gonna do a quarter cup now for each to make sure that, you know, everything is accurate and I get the right calorie count or portion size. So we'll go in like that. As close as we can get it. Yep, whoops. It's not about being obsessive, it's just about knowing that you've portioned it to the best that you can because nothing's super accurate. It's all an estimate. It's just about, you know, doing the best you can. Okay, the friends, so I ended up getting more uh, than I thought. So it's a cup per container per serving, which is an amazing portion of mashed potatoes. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you can eat this and lose weight, buddy. <laughs> Okay, the mini meatloaves are done. They took a total of 30 minutes at 350. So what I'm going to do is use a spoon to just loosen them up and then scoop them out. And I'm gonna put them in the containers and then I'll top them with the ketchup. Look at, like, look at, look at the meal. Perfect. That is crazy, buddy. That is, uh something that I can get excited about because like me and you both can really eat and that's yes. like a real hearty comfort food meal that I can get excited that I'm gonna be full. Or at least, you know, as full as I can get on the calories. Exactly, and that's like what we always try to do is make meals that are really low cal, high volume, because we both have massive appetites and we could out eat most people. So it's really important that we find tasty stuff that'll help us feel full. And that's where protein comes in to play. All right, the final touch, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the no sugar added ketchup to the top of each of the mini meatloaves. So we'll just do that and then spread it around and cute it up, just like so. Beautiful. All right, so this entire meal, again, it makes six meals. Um, we're gonna put the other two in the, the other two meals for Sass and two meals for me in the fridge and just heat them in the microwave. Per meal, it's 522 cals, 12 grams of fat, 48 grams of carbs, and 45 grams of protein. Whoa. You got yourself a tasty, filling meal, quick and easy meal. The calories and the protein are amazing for a meal like this. And like, honestly, this is family friendly. Like your family is not gonna complain about getting to eat this. They're gonna be like, this is low calorie, are you kidding me? So, the friends, this is why we show you these meal preps because weight loss should never be a punishment. You're allowed to make food that fills you up, that's tasty, that has lots of protein. You're allowed to eat stuff that you like, like mashed potatoes and meatloaf and good green beans, not boring ones. Watch this bit and this bit for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips because Sass and I are real friends losing weight in the real world. And Sassy's lost the same amount of weight as me and kept it off for the same amount of time because we love our food. You gotta love it, sweetheart. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't already because you don't want to miss these videos, honey. Okay, I'll catch you in the next vid, cutie. And now I gotta be a mime, okay? I'll this mime out. Now the mime is going in the elevator because I'm good at elevators. That was the door side. You know, it's supposed to talk. Start up, okay, right now. Okay, okay. I'll edit all this out. Okay, okay. No, keep it in. You want to put your hands on the elevator <laughs> door when you go down. That's what normal people do. Whoa, that was pretty convincing. And now I'm going down the stairs, so I'll okay, see you guys see later. See ya. You did it! Oh, mine don't talk.
Can you get me a pop while you're downstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.